So I hope you're all doing great and I gave the update earlier on in the day that Powerbook 4 Force have finally started their production on the first season of Force. They announced it on their official Instagram page 4 Stars and I said we didn't have any casting news but now they've released the first couple of characters who's going to be on the show. So I'm going to run through the characters, their character descriptions and if you know these actors, I know a few of them but if you know any of them, let us know what you make of the cast and of course don't forget to smash the subscribe button if you want everything Power Universe related. But let's talk about the cast and start with someone who's very well known to me because I've rewatched Prison Break a few times. It's up there as one of the all time great shows, especially the first two seasons. But Anthony Fleming was one Prison Break for around seven episodes, but he's going to be playing JP Gibbs, a gifted jazz musician who toured several continents, developing a rich worldliness that comes through this swagger, a collage of diverse tattoos. Gibbs is going to be owning a blues club with his ailing father that's been the target of several attacks by local gang members. As rich as Gibbs' life is, he still carries a pain of never having a mother in his life and having a son that he has no relationship with. Gibbs' world is thrown off his axis when he crosses path with Tommy. So Gibbs' world is thrown off his axis when he crosses path with Tommy and my early prediction is he'll be one of the guys on Tommy's crew. He's passed as a gifted musician coming from a rich background but being attacked by gang members, having a son that he has no relationship with, having no mom is going to cause him pain and he'll probably move over to the dark side with Tommy. Now there's Keys who's going to be playing Diamond and he's a gentle giant with truthful eyes and a body made of granite with defensive precision, a trait drilled into him with his during his 15 years sentence. Before Diamond got locked up, he was a young head of Chicago's most promising crew that was taking over the city. In his short time at the helm, he created a tactical drug running outfit, respected by all of Chicago's crime families. He spent his time in prison reading classics, educating himself on everything from history to literature to philosophy. Now that he's out, Diamond plans on taking the reins back from his cruised interim leader, which is his younger brother, Jannard Sampson, who I'm going to talk about next. But this is the guy that I like the sound of, literature to philosophy. He sounds like he's going to be playing chess, someone that can walk the talk and be two steps ahead of his opponents. A hard man, but someone that's smart, and I'm looking forward to diving deep into his character Diamond. Now Lofton is playing Jannard Sampson, who's a student but not a traditional one. A shining star who's gifted from birth, Jannard was accepted to Brown University within days of his older brother Diamond being sentenced to 15 years. Jannard parked his ambitions of uh, education, took over the reins of Chicago's largest crews with the benefits of Diamond being his older brother and keeper. He took power over the organization with an unbridled ability of a CEO along with the wild energy that anybody that crosses him. So this is the younger brother of Diamond and he was on his way to university living a normal life maybe but his brother going to prison changed the course of his destiny and now the streets have taken him and he's not going back to the life that he once knew but he sounds like a kid that looks like he can be a boss taking the reins over his brother's organization. I want to see whether these brothers are together, whether they'd fight for the position of power or whether Jannard will welcome his brother back as he's released from prison. Now Simmons is going to be playing Claudia Claude Flynn. She's going to be the only daughter to the largest kingpin in Chicago. A stew doesn't even begin to describe her because her intellect is a mixture of Ivy League lecture halls and Chicago street smarts. She's a brilliant as a politician and as blunt as a pipe wrench to the face. Claude doesn't need any green lights or permission to set things in motion. She starts the fire, she's the starter, she's the one that nobody in Chicago should ever count out. In a male dominated business, Claude is determined to carve her own path and one that might save her family in the end. Now this is something I'm looking forward to seeing because it's another dominant female character because there weren't many in power. There was Alicia Jimenez but I think Claude from a character description has the bite to her. The streets as well as book smart type of personality and she seems like uh, she's not afraid of making decisions and tough decisions. So let's see what's to come from Claude. So let's stick with the females for now. Gabriella Ryan, she's going to be playing Gloria, a razor sharp former marine carving a road path in Chicago. She's passionate, fiery, beholden to no man. Out of the small kitchen in the back of a bar, she pumps out Mitch level Jamaican inspired dishes. Her clientele is a revolving door of Irish mobsters looking to move in on a real estate. This doesn't stop Gloria's hustle and dream of one day owning her own restaurant and becoming free from under the watchful eye of the crime family that she's entangled with. And as she meets Tommy Egan, this causes a shift in her life. So here we have another character, Gloria, who's going to be bumping into Tommy Egan. And what's Tommy going to make of Gloria apart from loving the food that she makes because we know Tommy Egan loves food. I'm not too sure what to make of her character yet. Dreaming of owning a restaurant, let's see if it happens. Now Harper, he's going to be playing Vic Flynn, the heir apparent to Chicago's largest crime family and a prince who's going to lead with his heart as much as his fist. But Vic, he actually resents his father who mapped out his entire life for him, both business and with love. Vic can roll with Chicago's wealthier socialists, 
Just as easily as he can get down with Chicago's heaviest dealers, realizing his father has taken a shine to Tommy, Vic will fight to regain control of his rightful position at any and at all costs. Looking to move his family business forward and bury old beefs, Vic's allegiances to his family is put to the test and when he comes out it will all impact the entire city of Chicago's power structure. So Vic Flynn looks like he's going to have trouble with our boy Tommy Egan. He's not going to like the fact that his father likes what Tommy's all about and looks like Tommy's taken his place. We all know Tommy needed to get in with the crew and build and it's not going to be one season thing. This battle with Vic I think is going to be something that could either end badly for him because he seems like he doesn't like to be controlled by his father. His father seems like he's chosen Vic's destiny and he doesn't like to be controlled. So I think he's going to have issues with his father as well as Tommy Egan. Now another character who's going to be crossing paths with Tommy Egan is Cambric who's going to be playing Darnell D. Mac McDowell. He's a young man who's been raised by the streets of Chicago's south side but he's independent, loyal and completely unflinching when he's called upon to represent his crew. Dmac is still that kid looking for someone to take care of him. After a run in with Tommy proves to be more than a fluke, Dmac looks to Tommy as he hits crossroads in his life that can completely upend his future. Now this is something I mentioned in my previous video where I said Tommy values loyalty and this is what Dmac seems to be all about. Loyalty and with him being raised in the streets and having someone taking care of him. Tommy Egan may just be that person and he's someone that I think will be working under Tommy as he could take Dmac under his wing. Now Flanagan is going to be playing Walter Flynn and that's the head of the Irish crime family in Chicago. Despite living a life of immense prosperity in his castle on the lake, he longs for the way things used to be. Walter believes that without community and family, there is no tradition. He has a code and his deeply held code of honour bleeds into every aspect of his life. Walter quickly saw the criminal organisation he built facing threats that he could never have accounted for. So Walter Flynn is going to be the head of the Irish crime family in Chicago and possibly even having troubles with Tommy Egan and the people that he's with. He has a code of honour that he goes by and bleeds into every aspect of his life and he's someone that I think could be ruthless in the way he gets things done. So those are the characters that they've given us and I'm going to link the article down below for you guys so you can have a read of it on your own and my only first initial thoughts about the characters in Power Book 4 Force are I guess excitement. The one character that I'm looking forward to diving deeper into is Diamond but let me know what you guys think down below and of course if you know these actors from other shows then let us know what they are all about what we can expect but I don't think this is the last of the casting news that we're gonna get with these character descriptions they'll drop more soon so if you haven't done so already remember to smash the subscribe button if you want to see everything Power Universe related but thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.